welcome to the National Italian American Foundation's 38th Anniversary Awards Gala. Tonight we celebrate the rich Italian culture passed on to us from our mothers and fathers, our grandparents and their parents before them. It is a culture of love and life, food and music, and most of all, family. For nearly four decades, the National Italian American Foundation has worked tirelessly to preserve and protect these traditions and the heritage that binds us. Through advocacy, outreach, and support, NIAF nourishes the United States' connection to Italy and provides the next generation of Italian Americans with powerful resources, including educational opportunities, travel experiences, and mentorship. Tonight, to mark its anniversary, NIAF is pleased to acknowledge six exceptional individuals whose life accomplishments have helped promote and shape Italian culture in America and around the world. These are their stories. In the early 30s, when Fulvio Bracco followed in his father's footsteps and joined the small family pharmaceutical supply business based in Milan, the company began marketing an innovative vitamin C product that would become a household brand still prominent to this day. Down the line, it would be Fulvio Bracco's daughter, Diana, whose peerless leadership and vision would eventually turn the company into the multi-billion dollar conglomerate it is today. Under Diana Bracco's tenure as its chairman and CEO, the Bracco Group has expanded operations to 90 countries, is currently employing over 3,000 people, and has become a world leader in the diagnostic imaging business, committed to specialized research in X-ray, MRI, and ultrasound. Beyond medicine, Diana Bracco's philanthropic efforts have played a fundamental role in the advancement of Italian culture and artistic heritage. In 2010, she created the Bracco Foundation, which in the spirit of her family's legacy, is charged with the mission of promoting innovative scientific projects, art exhibits, concerts, and scholarships across the globe. And most recently, Diana Bracco has been appointed chairman of Expo 2015 and the general commissioner for the Expo's Italy Pavilion. Tonight, we honor Diana Bracco with the NIAF Special Achievement Award in Philanthropy. Roberto Calanino has led and continues to lead some of Italy's largest corporations, spanning a variety of industries and touching the lives of millions around the globe. In the mid-1990s, as CEO of Olivetti, Colanino brokered a series of crucial international agreements to transform the previously ailing company into a major telecommunications player, and would eventually oversee the 60 billion euro takeover of Telecom Italia, the largest bid ever made in Italy up to that time. Today, Roberto Calanino is chairman of IMMSI, a conglomerate of more than 50 international companies, including the Piaggio Group, of which he is chairman and CEO. Under his leadership, Piaggio has revolutionized its industry and become one of the most popular manufacturers of two- and three-wheel vehicles worldwide. Additionally, with Piaggio's recent expansion into Vietnam, Colanino has frontiered Vespa for Children, a program aimed at funding specialized medical treatment for local Vietnamese youth. Colanino has been awarded multiple honorary degrees and was inducted as an Italian Knight of Labor in 2001. Tonight, the National Italian American Foundation honors Roberto Colanino with the NIAF Special Achievement Award in International Business. Lou Donatelli was born into a traditional Italian-American family with strong Catholic ideals and principles. During his lifetime, Lou has pioneered numerous businesses and built a real estate empire, all while never losing sight of where he came from or his important Italian values of family, faith, and community. Throughout his long career, Lou has consistently volunteered his time and money to aid in the growth and development of numerous Catholic schools and other charitable organizations, including his alma mater, Villanova University. Additionally, he is a founding member of NIAF, 
and even today he continues to support the organization's education and youth programs. He has traveled to Italy on many occasions with his wife of 53 years, his four children, and his 11 grandchildren. Tonight, we honor Lou Donatelli with the NIAF Special Achievement Award in Business. When a young George Rondazzo, growing up on Chicago's west side, began collecting sports and boxing memorabilia, it was just a boyish hobby. But years later, after returning from 13 months of duty in Vietnam, he entered the workforce and his boyish hobby became a full-blown passion. His dedication to sports, as well as his heritage, inspired him to start an organization that could leverage the rich history and values of Italian-American athletes as a way to give back to his community. In 1977, Randazzo's dream was realized when he founded the National Italian American Sports Hall of Fame. Under his leadership and determination, the Hall of Fame has taken on a life of its own, growing out of its original one-room building and expanding into a 44,000-square-foot facility in the heart of Chicago's Little Italy district. The Hall of Fame has inducted over 230 elite Italian-American sports figures. In doing so, it has raised over $7 million for scholarships and other community outreach programs. Randazzo has received numerous humanitarian awards for his work with the Sports Hall of Fame and continues to head the organization as president and founder. When he is not with the organization, he's spending time with his wife, Linda, and their two sons, Anthony and Mark. Anthony is a major league umpire, and Mark is a former World Boxing Council champion. Tonight, we honor George Randazzo with the NIAF Italian American Community Leadership Award. We are going to win because we cannot lose, won't lose, dare not lose, lose is not in our vocabulary. Paul Servino is one of the most distinguished Italian-Americans in all of entertainment. With his staggering talent, the award-winning actor and director has depicted some of the most intriguing characters that motion picture camera have captured to date. Undeniably influenced by his own experiences growing up in an Italian family in South Brooklyn, Sorvino is consistently praised for his credibility on screen and his genuine depictions of Italian personalities and culture. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not only has he played prominent roles in over 100 motion pictures and series, Sorvino is also an acclaimed opera singer, a Broadway star, and an accomplished sculptor. Outside of art and entertainment, he is a dedicated husband and father to three, highly involved in animal rights advocacy, and is the founder of the Paul Sorvino Foods Company, which markets a line of pasta sauces based on his own mother's family recipe. Tonight, we honor Paul Sorvino with the NIAF Special Achievement Award in Entertainment. In 1954, Monterey High School elected an Italian-American boy by the name of Leon Panetta, the son of immigrants from Siderno, Calabria, as its student body president. That boy has gone on to be one of the most influential Italian-Americans of his generation and has held some of the most powerful positions in all of world politics. Having served in Washington, D.C. with nine presidents since 1966, Panetta has held such prestigious positions as Congressman, Office of Management Director, Budget Director, White House Chief of Staff, Director of the CIA, and most recently, the Secretary of Defense under President Barack Obama. Notably, during his time as the Director of the CIA, Leon Panetta led the operations that brought Osama bin Laden to justice. Beyond Washington, Panetta and his wife Sylvia have been active in supporting numerous educational causes. And in 1998, they founded the Leon and Sylvia Panetta Institute at California State University. Furthermore, Panetta has personally been a major player in advocacy efforts surrounding oceanic health and conservation. Tonight, we honor Secretary Leon Panetta with the NIAF Special Achievement Award in Government. These six stories are a testament to why we are gathered here this evening, and telling them is at the core of NIAF's mission. 
Thank you for your commitment to that mission and for celebrating these achievements with us tonight.